It's draft day, 2022. One of the best days of the year. You betcha. Welcome back to Bruce with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell are you today? This is one of my favorite days of the year. It is NFL draft day. Super stoked. Cannot wait. To see the picks going. Unfortunately, the Broncos don't have any unless we trade up immaculately in the first round and, you know, do something crazy. Don't think it's going to happen. Will Aiden Hutchinson, believe I have his name, go first? Will Kenny Pickett go at the end of the first round, according to Chris Sims? Will Paulie on the Dan Patrick show lose his bet by somehow a quarterback going in the top 13? We shall see. Nobody knows. But all we know is go Broncos. Go Elway, go Peyton, the Buffs, usual, and yeah, back to the Broncos, world champions, back in, uh, you know, six years ago, but I'll take it. Anyway, uh, you betcha. Hopefully you're having a great day. Uh, it's going to be a great draft. I always have fun. Uh, my buddy uh, JG is going to be over with me, but be before I get to that, let's get to this phenomenal beer I got from Handy Market. What a panty market. Uh, this is from Vitamin C Brewing, which is uh, out of Weymouth, if I'm saying that right, Massachusetts, which is, you know, about 25 minutes south of Boston. So uh, I've had a collaboration that they did before. I forget who they did it with, but uh, yeah, it seemed to be pretty well respected. This one's about two and a half weeks in the can, so very f f fresh. Um, yeah, it's called Double Spring. It is a double... IPA hazy, so it is 8% on the Richter. Deuce on draft day, you betcha. Uh, allegedly, it's hop with Galaxy, Cascade, and Columbus. Galaxy, I always know, is going to be a lot of fruit, uh, mango and peach, roughly. Uh, Cascade, I always think of, you know, citrus, uh, pine, and uh, uh, floral, I believe. It's kind of the old school hop, old school West Coast hop. And then Columbus, which I forgot about, I had to look it up again, is pungent, resiny, earthy, spicy, sometimes having a black pepper aroma or licorice. Aroma can change to qual qualities of marijuana if heavily used heavily in the flavor aroma end of the brew. Uh, and also some citrus. So it sounds right up my, my alley. Uh, I'm not going to lie. So let's get back to it. Uh, really looking forward to it on draft day 2022. So, booyah kasha. Uh, let's do this, shall we? Okay. If you haven't already in this video, please crush the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Especially on draft day. Biggie ups. That way, you can sit down in a nice lazy boy chair with your cold beverage and my cold beverage all the time sometimes even with sunglasses. All right, all right, all right. Like and subscribe. Thanks much. Biggie ups. Like and subscribe. Love you. All right. Let's get Bronco Bob back in here. All right. Draft day. Uh, let's get a little, a little bit more on top. Got the Duff beer look from the Simpsons. Love it. Draft day. Smelling the bready dry hop, I think. So... Some citrus, some tropical fruit. I'll, I'll identify it more later, but how, how stoked are you? Let's get pumped. Here, cheers cheers me on draft day. Salud, biggie ups, skull in Swedish. And uh, no words, just emotions, surprises in round one. Ooh, okay. That's definitely got some, like... Big tropical fruit, um, just like, yeah, big fruit notes, but then has a little bit of like a peppery note at the end. Like, not big, but maybe it'll get bigger as, as it goes. That's what she said. Um, so, get, okay, get pepper, get, get some earth, get some fr uh, rounded fruit. Um, definitely, um, I want to say like, mm, I don't know if it's passion fruit and a little bit of mango, maybe. Um, maybe.
maybe a, okay, uh, almost like a peach cobbler, like uh, you know, has that like not cinnamon, but uh, you know, yeah, just bread crustiness to it with, with a little pepper. Very, I'm getting even pineapple in there. Juicy. Uh, this thing's got almost everything you could want out of it. It's not super crazy with the, uh, I don't find it dank at all. Like, I don't find any marijuana really going with it. It's more, it's really more on this fruit side, but there you go. Double spring, double spring, vitamin C. Booyah, Weymouth. Or, I saw one pronounced Weymouth. It's, it's got to be Weymouth. But I've never I've never been there, so anyway, cheers, subscribe, um, let's keep going. Draft day is so fun. I would just say that's got really good fruit earthiness. Mouth feels about it's it's pretty thick. Um, not gonna go there again. Uh, about fifty percent, medium to you know almost feels getting closer to heavy mouthfeel, but medium mouthfeel. This is 8%. Wouldn't necessarily think it's 8%. It's very, very well rounded with the fruit and very put together. So don't uh don't don't really get booziness on this. Just big big thick big thick flavor. Dang, this is pretty good. Again, um tough to say whether I like I don't know if I'm amazed by this or not. I don't I don't think it just it's very, very good. And so I think I know where I'm gonna go with this one. Um, give me a second. I'm just going to take two more sips so I can be fair to it, and then we're going to grade it. Uh, draft day. All right, then. Um, to be honest, best way to describe this is a nice, not non-sweet uh, New England IPA that has a lit, has a good kind of ish peach cobbler taste to it without being too sweet. Like, it's got, it's not super peppery or anything like that just has an earthiness like I don't really get pine from it it just it's it's just got like a you know dry hop breadiness it has has the uh, yeah more I think more of the peach than anything else uh, but again almost like a non-sweet peach peach cobbler meets a little bit of pepper and some creaminess but you're gonna get that from a good peach cobbler I think I haven't had it in a little bit so anyway I'm gonna, let the wife uh, try this afterwards. She might actually like it. Uh, you might actually like it, right? <sighs> All right. Let's get to the Z grade on 2022 draft. I'm so excited. Stellar down to hell no. And I have a decent beer with me. May not, maybe even be better than decent. Yeah, I'm going to give this... Been doing this. I feel like I've been doing this a lot with beers lately, but not never gonna complain about that. It is a Weymouth, Massachusetts, not too far from Boston. Uh, draft a solid. And by that, I, I'm gonna give it a full, you know, 96. Just, just you know, just a hair short of an A plus. Uh, everything I could want from it, just, just not quite that, just crazy wow factor. But it's, it's. Rock solid. Yeah. But definitely more on the fruity side. Le less on like any kind of peppery dank side. Um, all right. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty solid. All right. Anyway, hopefully you enjoy your draft day. I know I'm going to. I'm going to drink some more uh, lighter beers after this. And, uh, you know, we'll see you. Uh, we got... Two more days of drafting at like this, but, you know, the first round is a big deal. So, remember, help me out. Help me out. Like and subscribe. Really appreciate you. Biggie ups. And enjoy your draft day. See you out there. Go Broncos.